Letter to Michael Gove, MP, Secretary of State for Education. Dear Michael, a look at your tie and shirt combination of in, in images of you online informs me you are not a visually minded person. <laughs> you do not care how you look. Look around you, what do you see? Everything is made. Everything has been fashioned by human beings who have considered all aspects of what they have made. Give a child a piece of paper and a brush and some colours and you put them in control. Children's art is so appealing because they have no problem of being in control of images. I've got to get it into these artists' heads. Aesthetic babbling gets us nowhere. It's the STEM subject, science, technology, English, math. But how about if you talk about putting the A for arts into the STEM subjects, call them STEAM subjects? STEAM. This is not a domestic science lesson, Eddie. Look, why don't you write it down? I think you've pretty much got it all in your head anyway. Yes, probably right. And I suspect I'll find a few gems in here. Take art out of schools and you shut the door on children's development and emasculate British culture. Creativity is about rebellion. Your initiative awards conformity and will cause stagnation. The relationship between sheets of blank paper pencils and innovation is undeniable. Art should be at the centre of a national curriculum based on creative thinking. We must not be too ambitious. We cannot aspire to masterpieces. We may content ourselves with a joyride in a paint box. Look at my old hippie. What is your ambition? Your reforms will cripple future British design. You are removing all the ladders to the disenfranchised. You need to rethink the role of creativity in society and realise that innovation comes from optimism, creativity, risk-taking and art. Bob and Roberta Smith. Yeah.